Hello and welcome to Groundbreakers. This is a game by the developer United Indie, which is currently in early access, as can be seen right here. It's been in early access since the 7th of December 2015, I believe. And I did not find this game myself. The developer actually sent me an email with a key and said that if I... Uh, yeah, they, they basically gave me a key and uh, said if I, I, I want, I can, I can share videos on the game. Um, and I, I think that's pretty awesome because they are the first ones to do so. I really did not expect something like this. And I assume they contacted me, among others, I assume, because I do play a lot of turn-based strategy games. And that's what Groundbreakers is. So I thought the least I could do is actually take a look at the game and share it with all of you and see how this game works. And I hope that it will be fun. So let's start with the tutorial. I've actually not done anything in the game. I've watched a uh, the, the videos they put out themselves just so that I can see how it looks. But you can still see that it's in early access. I assume this gray background will uh, vanish at some point. So, let's just get into the tutorial and learn how to play Groundbreakers. Okay, so there's actually different kinds of training, so let's start with the entry battle. So it looks like we've got some sort of grid here to play on. Victory, search and capture more tactic points than your enemy. Defeat, capture less tactic points than your enemy. Makes sense. Time points limit 1000. I don't know what that means yet, but I assume we will find out. So, what do we have here? Oh my, it looks like Gary's roller is at the mercy of Tharik's dual claw. You just can't handle a punk mechanical wolf. Okay, I just have to move next to roller and deal the finishing blow. Okay, let's see. Click on the tactic point. To capture it and approach roller at the same time. So this is a tactic point and this is roller, I assume, and this is our dual claw, it's called. And left click moves me there. Okay, click on roller to finish him. Let's do that. Okay, there's a lot of information there that I didn't really see. Oh, what's this? Uh, so we need to wait on the capture point, uh, on the tactic point to capture it. Um, press the end turn button to capturing, to keep capturing it. So this is the, what do we have here? Skip move, end unit turn, display. I don't know what that does yet. Okay, yeah, let's just do what it says and end the turn. Okay, yeah, that's the information. What do I need to do? We haven't captured it yet, I assume. Um, oh, wow. What the hell? Can I not? Oh, apparently I did. I did not want to do that. <laughs> oh, well. It's, it's, it's okay. I, I don't know why. Let's end the 10 turn again because I assume that we need to still capture it. Okay, yep, we captured it now. And that won us the game already. Okay, so you've captured more tactic points than your enemy. There was only one. So once we captured it, it ended the match. Uh, no parts gained. Uh, now that was magnific magnificent. Battle worthy of our corporation's caliber. Congratulations to Tharik as he is on his way to become our new CEO. Interesting. Okay, that was the first tutorial. Let's do first training day. Speed time, uh, speed time point. Search and capture more tactic points than your enemy. Yeah, it's always the same. So this is our first training. Prepare to get whipped. Nope. Uh, yep, we need to get started. 
Oh, of course, he. we need to hear all about him being awesome. <laughs> oh, he's going to skip it. That's unfortunate. So, use your unit to attack mine. See whose unit is better. Uh, I assume we have to move first, and then we can attack. Yep, looks like it. So, that's his health bar. Okay, we can attack diagonally as well. That's good. Notice what? Okay, he can take more moves than we do. Uh, because it's faster. Mouse over your unit to see its stats. I assume we need to do that here. So its speed is actually not 1 plus 0 plus 0, but 1.1. For some reason, I don't know why. And then we look at his, and there we've got one plus one, so he's got some sort of modifier. Uh, the yellow number one because it's modified amount. It will eventually go back to zero when the buff's duration run out. So it's a buff he's got. Inspect units to keep to know the moving order. Oh yeah, that's right. Our crop design the great UI, but before we dig any deeper, let's send in more units and battle for a few more turns. Okay, makes sense. So those are mine, I assume, and those are his, just from the look of the health bars. So let's move over here, away from them. I don't know how far they can move, actually. Oh, I can't do anything. I can't attack. Why? I don't know. This is still a little bit confusing to me. <laughs> we'll find out eventually. So let's follow him. Oh, or should I... Could I have just... Oh, we can't attack diagonally. We can only attack these four squares, so there's a difference there. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, can he attack diagonally? He cannot. He did attack us diagonally, didn't he? Can we see that somewhere? What he can attack? Range type. Instant 2? What do we have? Instant 1. Uh, we don't see it yet. I assume we'll, we'll, we'll find out about it soon. So let's see, we don't have a lot of stuff. Oh, that's some range we got there. So we've got projectile and a range of four. Oh, since he's got range two, that's probably one, two. So the diagonal is this then, or two. That makes sense. So let's attack him and take him down. And we probably want to move Dual Claw up here. And we can't do anything. This looks like loot. What happens if I move on that? Nothing for now. Apparently, good thing is, apparently, we don't use up all of our movement here. We can go a little bit by little bit and then keep moving. But let's end this. Maybe we will pick it up if we end our move here. We do. You have received a normal unidentified chip. Makes... sounds good. Okay, pause. We will continue with the speed and time. Click on the top left corner of the screen to see the unique... Uh, the, the unit queue. So we need to go up here. So we have a number under each unit's avatar, which are all these. It's called time point. It's the ticks count your robots has to wait until their turn. I know it's hard to comprehend, but you will get it someday. Maybe. Oh, he's he's really nice to us. <laughs> uh, the faster your unit speeds, the less time point you will have to wait until you can act again. If its speed is 1, you will have to wait 1000 time points. If it's 2, you only have to wait 500. So it halves it. Um, let's keep going. So they are all there. 
And is that a number that goes down when we do at the end of the turn, probably, always? So why? Okay, I can attack here. Oh, I can? Looked like I couldn't, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, and my death claw is a little bit... Okay, we skip... Oh, yeah, that's... So skip move is skip the moving, probably. But let's move over this way and then skip. And now we can attack. Okay, makes sense. Uh, he does not have a big range, I think. Let's move over here. And apparently going up is a double move of sorts, so... It takes us more movement to go up somewhere. Oh, okay. They're continually respawning. But that's fine for now, I guess. Let's move over here. And attack this guy. Okay, what's this? Is that the point we need to capture? Might be. Let's move here so they they might be able to reach me, but I hope not. And I wanna get this. Another normal unidentified chip. We want this as well. And we can't attack him from there. I mean, it's unlikely that the Dual Claw will get there and live long enough to do that, so we might as well attack. Okay, what's next? Uh, we can attack diagonally, though, with him, I think. We cannot. I... misremembered. Yep, our range type is one. Is uh, range is one, not two. So I should have moved over here instead. Oh, he's not attacking dual... Oh, yes, he is attacking dual claw. But he's making room here for... Oh, so they're still respawning. Yeah, okay, in that case, let's do this. And start capturing. And here we're just attacking. And these little, I don't know, I assume they're robots, or I think they're robots. They look pretty, pretty cute. <laughs> Skip move, let's attack here. This should end now, I assume we will capture the point. Apparently not. Okay, he's down. I can move there for some reason. Let's try to kill that again. Maybe we just need to kill them all once again. Or can I see my... We did... Oh, or does he have to capture it because he's got that thing over his head? Might be? We will find out. It's still a little bit confusing at the moment. Ouch. That was not too nice. I don't need to move. We can just start shooting. Oh, hello. That was a lot of damage. Um. So... Does this work? Let's do that again, I don't know if it will. Is it random where it goes? And I will stay on this point for now. I don't know if that's correct or not. Dual class respawning, yep. Oh, I should have placed him there, so we had to choose where to put him. And we finally captured that point. Okay, so I had to do that. No part gained. 
uh, robots attribute in the next training. Let's let's keep going here. We're learning a lot. So second training day, range and height. And I already surmised a little bit about that, but we'll, we'll get more information. Um, so we need to capture tactic points again. So this one. Uh, we will learn something new. Yeah, this is... Wow. So this is made for us to gain ourselves a height bonus, I assume. So we need to mouse over our unit to see its stats. Look at the movement stat, that's how many squares a unit could move each turn. So movement is three squares. Uh, our system will highlight all viable move squares, yep, as we already know. So we need to move towards the tactic point. Yep, and that's what I assumed, so we've got one, two, but this is a height square, so it's not climbing cost, yep. You need, your yeah, units need to spend extra movement points, so it's movement three, yep, so it's just what I assumed. Uh, next to the tactic point from climbing the cave next, this movement is bad, so we will go on the side and end its turn. Let's open this as well, just so that we see when we have to get to act. How fast is he? He's got a movement of four, so he's a little bit faster. And he's got a lot of shooting range as well. Projectile five, that's pretty good. But we're out of range as of now. And this bot looks pretty cool. Okay, we can't attack again so let's keep doing this and up here okay yeah they are robots <laughs> insisting me to keep this high ground position what's the point it has many advantages firstly if a unit attacks another unit that stand on higher squares it has a small mischance that's important I feel like and a melee unit can attack a unit that stands two squares above that's really good so your cannoneer is pretty safe standing there and could still deal damage to enemy units below quite convenient I must say so all I have to do now is kill the nearest enemy unit to prevent them from capturing the tactic point so let's start shooting at this guy Kaplunk we, we almost got him Okay, he's standing on the point, I assume, so that we can't just walk on there ourselves. So let's go here and attack him. Uh, the crystal above the tactic point, what is that? Mouse over it and I'll explain it in detail. As you can see, the crystal indicates the state of the tactic point, so it's at the moment 60% red. The tactic point has three states, neutral owned by red side or owned by blue side. The state will only update after one of the sides of the two sides has finished capturing it. And once it's, it is captured by either side, there's no way you could change it. Okay, so once we captured something, it is ours. Uh-huh. It takes the time button when the color fully dominated, blah blah blah. <laughs> so if the unit stands there for about 2,000 time points it succeeds in capturing it. Well mostly true, but the tactic point is currently under red side influence so move your unit to the start, decreasing the enemy influence and raise ours. Ah, unit there, okay. I'm confident I could win this now. So I probably don't want to move my shooter there, but it looks like we are supposed to skip move and then we can shoot but he's just out of range and he's got projectile 5 as well so he's going to shoot us and he can't do anything so the cannoneer will skip his move and we're at 62 right now okay let's shoot him Oh, he's moving closer. Yeah, he, he needs to. The real battle begins. All units enables their last skills. 
What does that mean? Don't move, just shoot. Okay, we got him, and that's a lot of damage. And I think we captured the point. Yes, we did. And game. And we might as well. We have two more trainings left, so let's go for these. Uh, the third training is skill. Okay, once again, we need to go for capture points, so this one. This doesn't seem like a fair fight. No, it's not a fair fight, but it's not impossible. I show you how to escape from this. Aside from normal attacks, your robot also have skills. Mouse over the second skill icon and I show you. Okay, so it's a jump shot. Cannoneer jumps to a coordinate and leaves behind four cannonballs. The power is 60. Two turns cooldown, a range of 6 and 30 heat cost. These two stats don't tell me anything yet, but I assume we will learn about them. Now learn that skill by clicking on the plus sign above it. You are given one skill point for each unit at the start of the match at every time your unit level up. So we need to learn this. So now we need to activate it. Okay, so I have to decide where I want to go. That's quite the range, and it actually sounds really nice, so we can get really far away. If a skill requires target coordinates, you also have to click on one of the highlighted squares to target it, and in this case you will want the cannon cannoneer to jump on top of the cliff to escape the situation and still be able to fight, so up there. And it's highlighted. Oh wow, that's really awesome. That was a lot of damage. Got <laughs> wrenchy. That's cute. Now that you're safe, you should kill the capturing tactic point unit. Makes sense. You could always hold that left mouse to move and the right mouse to rotate the camera. Oh, thank you. That's what I was thinking about. So that sounds nice. So, and if we hold, we can move around the battlefield. Okay, I want to skip my move, I think, and just shoot him. Okay, he's gone. Nice. Okay, dual claws moving back to keep capturing. Oh, wow, he's got... What's his movement? Four? How can he climb that well? Another skill point for me, I think we should learn the overdrive this time. It sounds useful, but it's up to you. Okay, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> overdrive. Cannoneer overclocks himself, boosting his speed for four turns. Cannoneer immediately gains an additional turn after using, using this skill. Sounds useful enough. So let's learn that and use it. And we need to give up this position now, I think. So let's move here. Take a shot at him. Or I probably should have moved onto the point. So let's try that, actually. We will move, we'll move onto the point, skip our move and shoot this guy. Okay, we got him. Tutorial fun. Hooray! Oh, Dual Claw won't be able to attack us though. Or will he? He actually is, but I think we dealt enough damage that we can just shoot him and kill him. Yep, there he is. And that's the next one, but these skills sound really cool. And game. And let's move on to the last tutorial, final training day. day. So we get to do a full bell. Uh, next. Got it. Okay. Where are your units? That's weird. <laughs> okay. So we're... Who are we fighting against? Nothing weird about that. If you're talking about those two outdated robots, I have gone ahead and taken care of them for you. Kran, your snake. 
what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here to test our the strength of our of your new CEO. Uh, who is this guy? A lowly mercenary. I don't know what that purpose is. So let's take him down. Well, this is a real battle, so if you find tactic point for yourself. Then the enemy, remember your units can scan tactic points in a two sky radius, so move your units wisely. Oh, okay, so we see the don't see them until we move into range. That's interesting. So we start with dual claw. We probably want to start moving onto the high ground. So I think well first here and then we can move up there. Uh, keep him in a little bit of a middle position for now. But aside from that... Okay, what is this? Can I see this? Search and capture? Yep. A desert whirlwind will come and wipe everyone on its path? Interesting. Let's just keep moving him. So a two square radius, so I should have actually... Let's put him down there again. Just so that we cover more ground, which is what this comes down to, I feel like. We do want him on the cannoneer on high ground, though, if we can. Just so that we have some nice vision. Okay, nothing yet. When are they going? There's the tactic point. Okay, so we're on the right track and the dual claw should be able to start capturing it next turn already. Let's keep moving Cable Nex, that's his name. Looks like a small plant. <laughs> but I, I, I like these, the, the robots here. They look pretty cute and fun. And it's an interesting art style, I think. Okay, where do you need to go? Up here? Oh, just out of range, but next turn we should be able to do something there. Or can I... Yes, I can put a point in overdrive. Activate it. And let's actually just stand on the platform and start shooting. Uh, we can intercept. So what do we have available for him? And do I see how many points I have available? somewhere. I assume it's still one, but I don't know. So we've got steel fuel. Dual claw drives his claw deep inside enemies' bodies, dealing magic damage and healing himself. That sounds really nice. And double attack, so he attacks twice. I think we should go for the double attack for now. Let's move here and use double attack. Okay, we got him. Nice. We, he missed because of the high ground. That's cool. Um, he doesn't want to move. Let's... Oh, that's... <laughs> that's a, a crossbow? Like Blue Arrow, it's called. That's pretty cool. Koblami? Yeah, our cable nex is pretty out of the way, though. Uh, but maybe we can do something here. So what does this do? Long neck, big mouth. Cable nex extends its neck and uses its mouth to grab his enemy, then swing at him to deal damage. And it's got a range of six, so that might actually be good enough. And whirlwind top. Cable nex extends his neck and spins it like a whirlwind, dealing damage to surrounding enemies five times and knocks them back. Wow. But that's a lot, uh, fewer, uh, the range is a lot smaller, so let's go with the long neck, big mouth. And use that to... What? Okay, we only have this, so... Oh, we're, we're putting ourselves towards him. That's pretty awesome. Let's get the high ground with him. And start attacking. Not 
nothing we really want to do here. Let's move after him and keep attacking. Got a little bit more health. Skip the move and keep shooting. How goes the capturing? We, we're almost there. Looks like we got it. Okay, nice. Congratulations on your first win, boss. I hope you will achieve the dream of all the previous CEOs. The world total domination. That doesn't sound as nice anymore. <laughs> now you can access full resources from our corp. Do your best, boss. Okay. I think this is where we will stop for the first episode. That was not bad, I think. I... I'm, I'm not completely sold on the game yet, but I, I like the depth it had so far. We'll have to see how the other robots work, and I think we can customize the robots and build them ourselves in part, I think, uh, from what I've read about the game. But we'll, we'll find that out in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed this first look at Groundbreakers. Um... I will keep going, I will do a few more videos and check things out, and then we'll see uh, what we will do. But for now, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment, and if you want to see me play more Groundbreakers or games like these in general, just subscribe if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching, I hope that you tune in next time, and have a nice day. Bye!